The implant has um, a remote control, um, and I use it only to um, switch from program to, to another. Uh, I also use the remote control to switch on the mini mic, uh, but apart from that, um, I very rarely, rarely use it. In my day-to-day routine, I never need to change the implant. I just find a program that I'm happy with and just I, you know, uh, settle on that one. On the cochlear uh, processor that I use, the loop system is an automatic feature. So if I go to an environment where there is a loop, it automatically switches on and the processor uses the loop. I can also adjust it with a little zapper that I have that controls the programs on my uh, processor. I would use it in the, at going to the theatre or um, uh, actually a lot of banks and shops and things have loop systems as well and if they're switched on and working properly then they are automatically accessed by the processor. So the T-loop system is something I need when I pick up the phone, so I automatically set it to loop. But you don't have to just use it for the phone, you can go into the bank, you can go into any uh, institution, they should have the loop system for you. Depending on the situation, I choose to use it as and when, it's up to you. It's there and it is good, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I've been to the cinema a couple of times and um, uh, the experience of watching a movie is, I think it's quite natural, so the sound is, is loud, it's not noisy and um, definitely it's much better than before the operation. I have a mini microphone which I use because I belong to a flower club and we have demonstrators and they seem to disappear behind their flowers when they're talking. So I ask them to put on the mini microphone and I'm able to hear what they're saying. I also have a remote control, which I use for the uh, loop system, which is very good for when I go to church. I can hear all the homilies. The accessory I have uh, chosen is a little mini microphone, which can either be handed to a speaker or it can be connected to um, uh, a, a, a microphone jack. I find it very useful um, for long distance travel if I'm on an aeroplane because it means it can plug into the seat and um, I can hear the film sound, which was always previously inaccessible to me. Um, you can use that little microphone for um, listening to your iPod or plugging into the television, any number of um, acoustic sources. So um, it's a useful little adjunct to um, the sound you're naturally hearing through your implant. Since I've had the cochlear implant work, the, the sound, the conversations and things at work are a lot easier because I, I can hear better. and. One of the problems I had before was when we have meetings and um, like if somebody wants to address the whole group, I couldn't hear, even if I was standing, sitting near the front. Whereas now I've got a mini mic, or mini mic, and um, we have a, a boss comes around quite often and he wants to talk to a large group, maybe 50 or more, and he wears it on his tie and I, I switch it. Um, switch it on on the controller and then I can hear straight into my head. I don't even need to be standing near the front. Adaptations at home, um, the only thing I really use is the, still is the subtitles on the television. I only use it on um, subtitles. I don't really use it very often, but only if, I want, if I'm very tired and you know, so want to watch something interesting filmed or something, and, uh, cause usually they come on late on TV, but usually I'm getting learned and not to use it at all. I have to use subtitles when I'm watching any programme where they have accents, such as the soaps. But for normal programmes, the news, documentaries, I can turn the subtitles off. I still use the subtitles on the television because um, when you see a programme, the camera is not always on the face. 
um, so I have to use subtitles. But again, after all these years, it's second, you know, second nature to you. I've availed myself of the Cochlear um, travel programme, which you sign up for and pay an annual fee. And they then guarantee that if your processor uh, breaks down while you're um, on holiday or abroad, um, that they will dispatch a processor hastily to you and hopefully pretty well anywhere in the world it will reach you within 24 hours and I feel it's a bit like um, joining the AA it's um, an insurance policy which means that hopefully the worst won't ever happen.